Um, well, Matt, to, to start with, then, uh, fitness news. Um, Dan Lydiot, is he back in contention for this week? Yeah, he's trained, um, trained this week, Dan. Um, obviously, see if he gets through the week, but he's in contention for the weekend. So, that's uh, good news. <coughs> yeah, that's a uh, big boost in terms of experience in a game like this, isn't it? Yeah, and um, obviously, um, in, in a derby, they're usually pretty, pretty tight affairs. So, uh, as much experience as you can get on the pitch is really useful and obviously Dan had a really good start to the season played a fantastic game for Wales so it's great to have him back in uh, in contention but it's a it's an area of strength as well because Sam Cross is, has been excellent so it's uh, you know, a good addition to the mix Nicky Smith, how is he looking? Is he likely to be out for some time more? Uh, yeah, I think so I, I'm not 100% sure of the exact uh, diagnosis of what he's done but I think it's a couple of, uh, couple of weeks Overall, though, uh, squad in reasonably good shape, given that you were able to uh, rest a few last weekend in Paris. Yeah, look, it's always um, it's always a, a fine fine balance. We obviously wanted to go to um, start and be very competitive, and I can't credit the uh, the players enough who, who went out there. It wasn't probably the prettiest of games, but the defensive effort was fantastic to keep a you know a fully loaded stand side to, to 12 points and try less was a unbelievable effort and if we'd have probably taken a couple of chances we were unlucky unlucky not to come away with at least a point so it's a real squad effort obviously um, some of the internationals had a deserved rest so they come back into mix uh, for this week so you know we're as fresh as as any other uh, team at this time of season you mentioned the term fully loaded uh, the way the fixtures fall are you able to be Fully loaded for the three Welsh league clashes over the over the holiday period. Uh, yeah, apart from um, the players that we've just spoken about, who are, who've got uh, injuries or niggles. Obviously, you know this time of year, probably more so for the teams in the Champions Cup. Um, obviously, there's five, six, seven games of pretty much international uh, intensity rugby. So there's always going to be bumps and bruises, but we're pretty happy with where we are at the moment. Who's favourite for this one then? Oh, the Scarlet's favourites because the last two seasons they've um, been in the Pro 14 final, they've been in a Heineken Cup uh, semi final, and I think the last five occasions they've, you know, they've uh, managed to, to win. So, you know, they're clear, clear favourites, but it's at the Liberty, and we're really looking forward to it. Yeah, how much is home advantage worth on these uh, passionate affairs then? Oh, you'd like to think that it gives you an extra edge. I'm sure that they'll bring a decent travelling uh, support as well because obviously of the uh, how close how closer to uh, two regions are. So uh, hopefully if it is a tight game, that home advantage uh, pulls us through. But, you know, we've obviously we've had two, two days training so far this week and, you know, you can feel, uh, feel a, a different... Um, kind of edge on the Monday of a derby week. The boys are a little bit more um, tuned in, shall we say, and uh, we've got a session this afternoon, hopefully a good session, and then it's over to the players, really, Thursday, Friday uh, for, for match day. Particularly among the centres, I would imagine, given the uh, likely matchups of the weekend, you could have four players who would be the four Wales centres for the Six Nations, potentially. Yeah, I'd actually had a fit for that and Corey Allen. Corey Allen's been uh, outstanding for us over the last six, seven weeks. He's obviously a player that I've worked with um, previously at the Blues and I can't speak highly enough of him in the last um, last block. Obviously, Scott and uh, Owen being away with injury and one and Owen with Wales. Corey's really come in and uh, made massive differences in big games. So even in games where we've been uh, second best as Leinster away, he is the one, you know, player who's really, you know, stood up and taken his chance. So it's fantastic for us because we've got three good centres now, um, you know, vying for those two positions. But it's also, I think, he's going to come into the reckon if he keeps playing like he is for uh, for Wales again. How much do you feel that as a coach that players in games like this over the period as a whole are playing against guys who could be their rivals for international places? Yeah, well, I'm sure it adds an extra edge, especially um, obviously in this this season because there's a probably a glittering prize at the end of it in terms of a World Cup in Japan. Uh, in Japan, so there is um, you know there's matchups all over the field, isn't there, in terms of um, selection for Wales? Because I think Ospreys and uh, Scarlets in the last campaign were the most represented um, region. So look, the players know each other. It's um, probably our job today. We've got a meeting 
uh, in about an hour and a half time and we're going to we'll talk about the Scarlets but the boys know each other you know they're um, very familiar with how um, they play and they're very familiar with the um, with the individuals in the team. How do you read your league situation at the moment? You've both got six wins out of ten. How optimistic are you? Maybe you're in a little bit better current form than that? Um, it's a cliche, but that probably goes out the window in, in derbies. I don't think... Um, I've certainly not coached in a, uh, in a derby where it goes to form. It's always pretty tight, especially early on. There's a lot of emotion on the pitch. Um, and I think we're actually... Obviously, they've played in the Champions Cup against a good Ulster team. Uh, so I think form's pretty you know, pretty consistent between the two of us, really. Over uh, Christmas, it's the following game is several days after rather than the 26th or 27th. Does that make much difference to the way that uh, you prepare and the, uh, the dietary advice that you give to players <laughs> over, they, over Christmas? They certainly want me follow, uh, following my dietary advice. But <laughs> the... Um, no, it's actually quite nice. So I think our next game's on the 30th, so we've got a, um, a good eight-day uh, break and it allows us to have Christmas Day and Boxing Day off. So, look, we've got, we got experienced internationals here. They know how to prepare. They know what's best for their bodies. Um, it's fantastic. A lot of them got young, uh, young children that they can have Christmas Day and Boxing Day, which is unusual in this league. So uh, I think it's, it's probably worked out pretty well for us. And fractionally more relaxed on the, the dietary front? Um, I will be, yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't know. As long as they uh, play well, they can eat what they want, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, end of last week, there was a bit of uh, media speculation around that Sean Edwards might be uh, off to the uh, the Dragons. That seems to have died away a bit now. Are you expecting him to remain with you for the rest of the season? Yeah, we, he's, he's, in with us, uh, he's in with us today um, in, in units and for team <laughs> sessions. So. I firmly expect him to be uh, to be here for the rest of the season. Probably a tribute to him that uh, everyone wants him. Yeah, well, he's a world class coach. You mentioned, uh, you mentioned the centres. I mean, how big a boost has it been having someone of the quality of Scott Williams to work with this season? Huh? He's been brilliant. He's um, I obviously uh, knew him previously from uh, a couple of Welsh campaigns, and he was a player um, I felt I kind of warmed to pretty pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, he's obviously a quality player, but he's also, I think Clark has spoken about it before, he's been really good in the environment. He's, as a coach, you need probably two or three players that you can uh, give a call to or speak to after a meeting and, you know, share some ideas and get some advice off. And he's been, you know, he's been brilliant uh, for me. The key for Scott, though, is to play well. You know, it's, it's, um, it's three big weeks for our international boys. I think we've looked after him pretty well. Um, so he's been great around the environment, but obviously his full focus now will be on playing against uh, his ex-region, the Scarlets. And, you know, you can tell this week that he's looking forward to it. Yeah, that ex is, obviously there's going to be that extra emotion. Does that come into it? Do you camp on that or do you just keep playing board it? Or? I think we just, uh, we prepare as, as we would. We've got... It's very tempting um, when there's what you perceive as bigger games to get more excited as a coach as well. So Monday you're excited, and by Thursday, Friday, you're, you're pretty drained. And I think the players are the same as that as well. There's a real fine balance. I spoke to the um, backs today about how much prep you do, but also they need to be in the tunnel at the Liberty bouncing to get out there and play. So we've got to emotionally kind of probably... Um, Think about that on on Saturday, and just prepare as well as we can a game plan to try and beat the Scarlet. So there is there is more emotion for a derby game, hundred percent. But we'll not try and show that until until Saturday, about five to three. How much has the Scarlet's backs play over the last couple of years been the sort of blueprint for other coaches to follow, and are they hitting those heights this season? Um, Oh, look, they've had a fantastic couple of seasons and Stephen, uh, Wayne, all the coaching staff there, Johan, uh, Byron, have done a fantastic job and I'm really pleased that um, Wayne and um, potentially Stephen, obviously we don't know yet, maybe with the uh, Welsh team, they deserve it and it's good to see um, them being rewarded for having a fantastic couple of seasons. In terms of their back play, you know, if you, if you look at the back line, it's a lot of the Welsh backs. Gareth Davis is a massive threat. Patch is a really good player. 
they got two of the Welsh centres. We've talked about that matchup. Steph Evans is exciting. So they've got a lot of pace and a lot of excitement there. They've probably missed um, a couple of t key players, I think, if we're honest this year. Um, Byrne was a massive turnover weapon uh, for them who, who gave the ball to Steph and, and Co in broken play. So they've probably missed those um, individuals. But um, they've got a pretty um, well-practised way of playing. Um, it's probably not clicked as well as they'd have like over the last couple of weeks, but you know they've got quality players and quality coaches, so it, it'll come back for them. It's just uh, every team will have the odd couple of weeks where it probably is not as fluid as they'd uh, as they'd like.